All right, so I've been super busy. It's hot out. I want to swear because here you can hear the cicadas. Like they're going crazy out here. I don't know what's going on. I would start the video with the guys, but I did some shopping off camera, and I. Want this is something I would buy for that price. Like, I have the copy already, not the exact same, but I have the Blu-ray of it. But this is Steelbook or whatever, hardcover. It's the Blues Brothers. It was $4.99 for this. And it's really cool. And really, if I, I think it's this version. They've had other types just like this, like other movies with the kind of drawing on the cover, but for that price, I had to share this news, because unbelievable. Obviously, as you can see by the title, we are going to go see Mission Impossible 5. I have been waiting for this, just the trailers, let alone, is so amazing. More on that once I meet up with the guys, so I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, so I haven't recorded that much because my camera like made a weird... It does something weird where the memory said not active, but it's recording now, so. Yay! Oh, you need one moment. Sorry, sorry, I wasted your money. Ha ha! Hi guys, we just saw, we just got out of seeing um, Mission Impossible 9. Or 10, or 11. Is real 11 this time? Mm-hmm. Um, the, the Rogue Nation. Yes. So, we're gonna review it right now. They had the, th they had like the hammer, like Thor, mm -hmm. Rogue, X Men, Marvel, Loki, in the intro. So this is uh, a holiday for Dennis. The Tom Cruise movie has been released upon him. Mm -hmm. Did you bring the Jergens? No. No. Anyway. So uh, me and Anderson, we haven't seen the Mission Impossible movies. <laughs> well, I've only seen the first one, and I only remember the part where the blade of a helicopter almost hits Tom Cruise's neck. That's all I remember. And I think John Voight was in it or something so like that. So he did a cut-up job with it? He did a cut-up job of it. Yeah. So, uh, but you don't really need to see the, the rest of the movies. Blade! I don't think Blade. Yeah, oh, my right. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. So, then dead. Yes, yes. Having seen all the Mission Impossible movies and having... A very sick obsession with Tom Cruise. What are your thoughts on it? So, I no, I'm just gonna say the order. I want you guys to go first because I don't wanna, uh, because I go on and on World about this. Well. But really, they've all gotten better and better. Like I would say, this is like probably my favorite, and so on downwards. But one and two, I would flip. I would say two is still my least, but still overall enjoyable. Like. I've loved all of them. Like, it's got everything. It's got like that James Bond feel, but then it's got some humor in there mixed with. I mean, it's everything. Mhm. Mm uh, they just have gotten better and better. Okay. I love this movie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Every single scene was so great, and every scene would like start off kind of like what's what's going on, and then it would build up, and then you think what's gonna happen. I have no idea what's gonna happen. And then it, it never became predictable. It was always like, oh my god, that's so smart. And it was exciting. It was funny. Uh, it had Tom Cruise in it. The villain was amazing. I'm going to do so much research on him. You said he's the guy from Lost? No, I was wrong. Oh. It looked like the guy... <laughs> he's like a redhead, so it was like it didn't oh, yeah. really match the exact... Yeah. Well, it could have fooled me. You showed me a picture of the guy from Lost. It looks like him. Yeah, it This does. guy's a bit older. Yeah. This guy, I'm gonna look up later. He is basically his personality is basically you know, like the the villain from uh, Jupiter Ascending, who annoyed the hell out of at least me. This guy does that, but he does it right, and it's great. Uh, I I know you haven't seen it, but it kind of felt like it was that mixed with Samuel L. Jackson's bad guy in The Kingsman, the Kingsman? Uh, where he's got that kind of lisp going, so he's got that kind of. <laughs> Weird voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can only talk at this volume. Like a like a mobster. Anderson, what did you think? It was good. Good. <laughs> 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 I 
Was it exciting to see um, Hawkeye as not Hawkeye? Yeah, that threw me off a lot. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm used to him being like the archer guy for like Marvel. Mm-hmm. Marvel. <laughs> but yeah, it just yeah. after twelve o'clock, his brain just. It's like Jurassic World all over again, the review. Mm -hmm. so you, you've mentioned more about superheroes than you have this movie. It was a good movie. Um, <laughs> That's the review by <laughs> <laughs> I would say only bad thing I could think about, uh, only bad thing about this movie is Alec Baldwin's hairstyle. Yeah. It, it's like yeah. high schooler in the 90s. Not, not the head of the C CIA. It's like that hair down but then flipped up like the wave in the front like come on I, I, I didn't care he was in it but he was awesome it, he was awesome and yeah but he was a bald one he was he had hair bald one <laughs> but him yeah the one thing that got me that was a little bit weird was towards the end when uh what's his name I can't think of his name now they had the, the bomb no oh his, but I can't I oh, am blowing Simon, him off. Simon like, Pegg. Yes, yes I, yeah, but I'm trying to think of his... Benji. Act. Benji, that's... Uh, it's something, like, it's <clears> something <throat> really catchy. The dog. But he had the bomb attached to his chest, and it's, like, clearly showing the numbers, and there's people all around, and <laughs> no one sees this and going, why is that counting down? Yeah. So it was a little... That that was, to me, a little bit weird. But that that it's like a minor thing. Like, this was amazing. Like everybody like there's so many villains and like there's a scene where there's multiple people trying to assassinate somebody and it's like oh my gosh like it's it always is like what's gonna happen like mm -hmm. I, I'm looking at my watch not to say like oh it's almost over when's this gonna happen when's that gonna happen it's like is this the climax is this like no it's like it kept everything it was mm -hmm. all over in IMAX I thought it was amazing like it did like the color and just like the motorcycle scene and just everything is uh yes i would recommend imax over over 3d just in general just because imax really uh can potentially bring out the colors and 3d kind of dims everything and uh, imax just enhances the visuals and the sound and it added a lot yeah i, I think it this, also i give this four out of four i this is I, like one of the best action movies i've seen Best one I've seen this year by far. A little bit better than Survivor. That Pierce Brosnan movie. Oh yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> just like, just like, hundred percent better. So, would it, better than Mad Max? That's a toughie. Because I a lot of people actually, have been saying, like, they've been saying, oh, this is going to be the best action of the summer, and there's a lot of people going, oh, Mad Max, that that was better. But, well, the, I would give Batman, man. man. And Ant Man. Ant Man. <laughs> uh, Mad Max. I would also give four out of four, but I think I enjoyed this more, and I was more in into this. I was more into the story of this, whereas Mad Max, I was like, "Huh, that looks pretty," you know. Mm -hmm. I was more invested in this one, so I highly recommend it. Go out and see it right now. It's so good. I yes, now I, want, stop I really watching. want to see the rest of them. Now, maybe not the second one. I keep hearing crap about that. No, one. you still got to enjoy it. You got it. In fact, I really, it, I was talking to John earlier about this. How Tom Cruise always tries to outdo himself in doing action scenes, like in this one, him outside the plane. Like the movie starts off with that, so it's like, oh my goodness. And funny thing about that is, like filming, it took them two days to do it, and Tom Cruise, I guess, got hit by a rock where <laughs> it could have broke his rib or something like that. So. It's now just he, amazing the things that he's done. In the second one, they used a real knife to get really close to his eyes. So I might do like a top ten crazy <laughs> things Tom Cruise has done. Could you imagine if that bomb went off in the movie? Like, he would have been blasted to oblivion. Ah. You could have also said he was hit by The Rock, as in like the actor. Was he in any movies with him? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> No, it wasn't actually. I don't think so. Yeah. So what I mean You're right. Your yours yeah. is better. Yeah. Anyway, how many stars would you give this? Out of out of seven and a half. Uh, seven and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, out of four, I'd probably give it. Or how about this? Three. How many Starburst minis would you give this? Out of how many are in? The, okay, how many? Did you like this? These were good. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it tasted just like Starburst. The only issue. <laughs> He's doing more of a review on that than the movie. How many stars would you, would you give it? I like stars. <laughs> they're pretty. They're in good shape. <laughs> Sorry to burst your stars, but please edit that out. What's nice about them, though, is they they come unwrapped, so you oh, can that just is cool. Yeah, you could just. But don't they all just stick together? Um, Are there any in there right now? A little. Not too bad, but when it gets hot and sticky, then yeah, it makes it kind of. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Um, yeah, the movie was good. <laughs> How many stars you, uh, would you give it, Dennis? I give it four, but now that I'm thinking about it, it deserves another star, so mm -hmm. it's getting a fifth out of four. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so after you see Survivor, then catch this. Right? Or just skip Survivor and watch this. I mean, they're both... Survivor is enjoyable, but this is like... Whoa. Like, I'd go see it again just to support it. Like... Did you need to keep an eye on the movie at all times? Yeah. Like a hawk? Hawk guy? And I'll say the... You want me... The... I didn't know if you need me to wait because of camera. Uh... I'm not gonna say how it happened and how it went down, but when they captured the bad guy at the end, mm -hmm. kind of like a turn of events kind of thing, you'll see it and know what I mean. It it, it was, I liked it, it was ingenious. It's kind of mm -hmm. like, ha ha ha. <laughs> I don't wanna spoil anything. I can talk on and on about this. So one of those movies, all you wanna do is like afterward just go, remember when that happened? I Wasn't know. Wasn't that so cool? One of those things. He should have died so many times. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, the very beginning, he should have been paralyzed straight away. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it was a good movie, but it wasn't very realistic. I'll put it that way. Like, three minutes, man, that's like almost impossible. Not gonna say what it was, but three minutes. Maybe he's Aquaman. Yeah, who could last for three minutes? <laughs> <laughs> That is so long. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and since this is going to be so short, Ryan and me have discussed about possibly seeing Pixels tomorrow. Yay. <laughs> This, this is going to be terrible after seeing this. <laughs> I mean, already, it's going to be one of those enjoyable, and John's busy. I know. But, but I think Kevin James makes for a great action star, in all seriousness. I like, I love, I love Mall Cop. Have you, have you seen the second one yet? No. I want to, though. Um, they do have movies with coupons to go see movies. You mean the ones that I showed you before? At Best Buy? Yeah. Yeah. Except uh, for Pixels, they had a couple for Mission Impossible, too. Well, Mission Impossible Should we go well. to Best Buy before to get the coupon? Yeah, probably. <laughs> forgot could... all about the Pixel movie one. Nope. As soon as we were walking in the movie theater today, I'm like, I should have bought a movie. But, nice thing about that one, it doesn't necessarily say Mission Impossible. It just says $8. Bye, and YouTube. we will see you later. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey. Very nice. Hey. 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 <laughs> yeah. Went for a walk. Yeah. How, how was your workout? Oh, I feel great, man. Because you, you lifted weights before, yeah. so you're all... Yeah. Um, yep, working on my uh, Oliver Queen workout, getting ready for Comic-Con, you know. There's like 20 or so more days until Comic-Con. Are you getting excited for that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Got ways to go. <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. So, we'll even have a video on that, because they'll have the lineup, it says 10 days, 
before the event happens. So we have a lot of planning to do. Like we have to so go about over. Next week. Yeah, that's what I mean. We'll have to come up with everything. We'll have to do uh, highlight the lists of people we want to see. Highlight the Q and A's. Some people really like the Q and A's and have been recommending some. So if there's any Q and A's at the Chicago Comic Con that you want to see, let us know. Uh, we're probably gonna go to all of them, but I only have so much memory. So put all your recommendations in now so that I know. Uh, I'll mention it again in the uh, getting ready, but we'll go over the lineup and see because I have no idea what they're gonna have in store. They keep adding people too, and people keep leaving. Luke Frigno's gone. Yeah, yeah. He's filming. He's, yeah, he's typically <laughs> he's typically one of those that you know is gonna be there, and when he wasn't on there, or he was on there, but once he left the uh, roster, it's kind of a shock. Yeah, it was um, sad. We won't get to see him. He won't be there. Only we'll get some vitamin B for your camera. I think you're gonna have Help to. Uh, you're gonna have to boost up and look like him. I could probably be the Hulk. Yeah. Just gotta eat some vegetables. And... Turn green. Can you get mad? Ooh. Bad boys. Bad boys. So yeah. Oh. Look like they're playing tag. But uh, yeah, so that sets the update. So going to this Best Buy right now, outwards, we decided to go to a different one. We knew the one by us had it, but we're like, why not take the chance? Let's go outwards and see. No one wants to see this movie, so they can't be sold out of those tickets and all that. Oh. We're probably the only ones in the whole world that want to see this in a way. It, it looks bad, but I like bad movies, so I'm excited for this. Downside is, is if they don't have the movies or the ones that we're looking for, we're kind of out of luck. No, I'm just there's there's other. They switch around. There's other Best Buys we can go to. I'm sure somebody will have them. But they so, switch around on Tuesdays. Ryan, have faith. Jeez. <laughs> but they <laughs> switch on Tuesdays. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we'll do that. And yeah, it, what, so it's $8 coupon. Uh, typical, uh, a typical movie ticket is about like $10, right, I would say, depending on what we want to see it in. So I'll round $10, so it's, it's worth it to get the movie, to get the $8 cash to see the movie, because then you're just playing, paying $2 for the movie. Yeah, and one of them was, uh, actually I think maybe two of them were 3Ds. Yeah. So. Okay, we're out. Walked in there, I would have filmed, but you know what? I was overwhelmed. I actually went a little crazy. It's It's been a while since we've done an out and about and Blu-ray hunting and such and such and such, but yeah, I got a whole bunch. You got a bunch of sliding back there. Uh, yeah, I'll show what I got. Ryan got, what'd you get? I'll let you say what you got. All right, uh, I got Hotel Transylvania 3D. For the um, Pixels movie. For the Pixels movie. Uh, it has a $7.50 coupon for the movie, so in theory I kind of got it for $2.50. So, I figure $3D, $2.50, mm -hmm. not too bad. Um, then I got three of the Mission Impossible movies, um, in which case we're probably going to see Mission Impossible again. Woo! Because uh, they have uh, $8 coupons for yeah. those. So, yeah, so two dollars for to see the movie in theaters is not bad. Not yeah. bad at all. Yeah. So uh, yeah, probably get another group going. Ooh, yeah, you can tell it worked out. Um, <laughs> and then uh, I can edit that out. That's <laughs> no, that's staying in. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I uh, got the Simpsons movie for seven ninety nine. Yep, seven ninety nine. I also got the Simpsons movie, which I will show. Obviously, you guys have all seen it already, but Simpsons movie. And then I got, I had to get this. They, they had something there that I've never seen before, which was a season of TV show bin for really cheap. Like, Ryan's like, they have TV seasons in a bin over there. You gotta go look at it. And I'm like, really? So I go over there, look, they have like Saved by the Bell. They had a bunch of ones I was tempted to buy. Like Saved by the Bell, they had uh, Burnout, 
their bar notice. I can't think. I've been wanting to check that out. I don't know if it's good or not. I've heard some good, some bad. I don't know. So that that I was really tempted to buy it, but I'm like, I'm gonna have a whole bag full of stuff. But I went with the flash, the old, and it's funny. If, uh, I need to see what I'm looking at. I think it was four. No. Oh, okay, it's not in this one. Never mind. On some of them, it looked like it was four dollars and ninety-nine cents, which the bin wasn't. It was ten dollars basically. So uh, I got Grown Ups, Grown Ups Two. Nope, Grown -up, Grown Ups. I thought I grabbed the second one, but I guess not. So I got to go back and. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't know if I have this. It was five dollars. I think I do. You guys probably know better than I do. So I got that too. Yeah. So I will be going back to Best Buy. Okay though. This is Best Buy. I think you messed up. So let me get my uh, stuff together here. So on the coupon here, it's got no numbers or anything. I'm not gonna throw Best Buy under the bus or anything like that, which I kind of am. I don't want to be kicked out of Best Buy, so I'm sorry, Best Buy. I'm sorry. I don't condone any of this. I, I, <laughs> Ryan is. <laughs> Ryan was the driver, so he's partaking. It says the activation code on the receipt. I'm not gonna show my code because I don't know when I'm going to the movies. So, but yeah, it says it right on there. For pixels. Yes. I want you to be my witness. I'm not showing the receipts. Yeah, I'm not showing this. Does it say it, Ryan? What are you reading the book or something like that? Jeez. Go down. Yeah, right there, right? There. Yeah. Right there. Over the receipt. Look at that face. Yeah, so uh, this has nothing to do with Best Buy. Hmm. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> but no, I. <laughs> He's got the evidence in his car. Get him, Best Buy. I don't condone any of this. <laughs> All right, should we eat? All right, we're going to eat. We're going to the mall, the crazy mall there, yep. And uh, they're open till nine. We don't know what we're gonna do, but obviously eats, and then I don't know if I'll have time. Yes. I'm talking, so let's go. Right. So we almost didn't make it out because of somebody. Sorry. He was too busy. We did eat. I don't know what's gonna go on. Nothing else goes on. This might be the end of the video. Yes. So we will find out. If not, you all have a good night, and we will see you in the Pixels movie review. Yes. 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 See the enthusiasm right there? Yes.